So hi, I'm Kelsey. Um, I teach at a year one class in a very small primary school in Kent, uh, 29 children in my class. So I chose the Human Bodies lesson with the Human Bodies book. Uh, I chose this one because actually we haven't taught that particular topic for a little while. So we taught this topic back in September. So they hadn't covered human bodies. So we used it as a recap and revision lesson to go back over some of the learning that they've done quite a long time ago now. But I think it was quite clear within the lesson plan what the lesson objectives were and then how that linked back to the national curriculum. So I felt that the children were able to meet the learning objectives. And by the end of the lesson, the children seemed to have a really good understanding of the parts of the body and the important roles that each of those parts have. The lesson itself lasted just under an hour. Um, and I think that was about the right time because there was lots of activities in it where they could get up and move around. They were very engaged throughout the lesson. So the children absolutely loved the lesson. I think they really loved the books most of all. And I think it was good for us to have such a variety of activities, which kept the children really engaged because they were thinking about lots of different things. I also felt that all of the children were able to access learning because there was the opportunity to present their work in different ways. So there wasn't the, the idea of having to write everything down for the children that found things a little bit more difficult. There was the opportunity to to show it in a different way, which I think was a really good idea. I think obviously it was brilliant that it was free. Um, I think as teachers, we spend so much time planning and subscribing to lots of different things that actually to have a resource that's sort of ready to go was amazing. Um, the children sort of were in mixed ability groups throughout. So how I planned it, I used the lesson plan and then used our own planning to be able to put a, a bit more to it and actually I think just by having them in mixed ability groups that really supported them with the, the reading and then I think as well having the bingo at the end of the lesson the children were sort of paired up with somebody else again who could support them and I think just in general there were so many different activities throughout the lesson that it meant that the children were really engaged and I think that's probably the most important thing because if the children are engaged then the learning comes from that so I think in general, the, the lesson plans and resources are really helpful for teachers. It's a pick up and go lesson, really, which I think would save so much time. Everything on the lesson plan had been really well thought through. I thought from the vocabulary at the beginning to actually what we would want them to do next. It had questions at the bottom for further learning, ideas for home learning. So there was everything was thought about and it was just a lesson that you could pick up and go from as well. And then obviously the lesson itself linked to the books, which both the books and the lesson plans were of such high quality. So that was really good, easy and good for us to follow. We thought the books were amazing. The children really, really enjoyed reading the books. They're clearly kind of high quality texts. There's lots of content within the books as well. They're very visual for the children with kind of key information, text boxes, lots of really really good illustrations. The children were really engaged with the books and having now added these to the classroom, the children even now are still continuing to go back and want to learn more and want to read the books again and again. Um, and I think for this age group, there's not a huge amount of non-fiction -text, non texts out there. So actually it's lovely for the children to have something that they engage so well with. We would absolutely recommend the books and the resources to anybody who wanted to try them. The children had so much fun with the lesson and also the, there was the underlying learning, which was fantastic. I think it's so well structured that anybody could pick it up and run with it. Um, I've actually got a student teacher in my classroom at the moment who has had a look over the lesson plan and it's very similar in the way that they plan at university so it was quite useful for her to have a look over the lesson plan and and again she would have been able to pick that up and run with it the same as the teaching assistant who was covering the class it's everything is there for you so for them it'd be really easy for them to pick up and go with it as well.